Today my top, uh, topic of presentation is data analysis using SPSS. We must realize that Allah has created us imperfect, so he does not expect us perfection from us, but he does expect us to try our best. Learning outlines of today's presentation, introduction, steps in data analysis, um, deal with missing values, data recoding, descriptive statistics of categorical variables, descriptive statistics of quantitative variables, univariate analysis, and bivariate analysis. By the end of this presentation, participants will be able to describe the introduction and various data analysis process in the SPSS. Basic terminologies, um, variable, variable as you know is a characteristic which varies and scale is a device on which observations are taken and the data is a set of observations or measurements taken from any experiment or surveys or external source of specific variables using some appropriate measurement scale. In biostatistics, uh, it, it is a science which helps us in managing medical data with application of statistical method tools or techniques or the collection of statistical procedure particularly well suited to the analysis of healthcare data. Mostly the medical data is associated with patient care or numerical information regarding patient clinical characteristics. It may be mortality rate, survival rate, disease distribution, prevalence of disease, efficacy of treatment and uh, many other such informations. The second thing is after data collection is the nature of the data. The nature of the data is the value you get from observing, measuring, counting, or assessing for, from experiment or surveys. The data is either categorical or numeric, it is quantitative. Categorical data is further divided into nominal and ordinal, whereas numeric is divided into discrete and continuous, which is known as quantitative data. Therefore, the nature of data is very important to determine whether it is categorical or it is numeric. Various level of measurements are used in SPSS. For example, categorical data, which is qualitative, it may be nominal, unranked categories, ordinal, ranked categories, or uh, numerical data in SPSS is known as scale. It may include ratio or interval. It is not group data. It may be height, weight, time, income. It may be discrete or continuous. And it is essential to classify data correctly for um, because uh, incorrect classification lead to uh, incorrect uh, data levels of measurement lead to incorrect classification which, which may affect the uh, statistical analysis of SPSS. Therefore, any uh, type of data which is numeric is uh, come under the heading of scale which is quantitative and any other qualitative data is fall into nominal or ordinal scale. Now steps in data analysis. Um, in previous lecture, we have uh, learned the questionnaire checking or data preparation, how data is entered, coding, um, uh, cleaning the data and now we uh, we learn cleaning the data and apply most appropriate statistical tools for analysis steps in data analysis. In questionnaire, for example, a closed ended questionnaire, which is developed for the choice of uh, educational courses, uh, we, various information are required, for example, ID, uh, demographic uh, information, name, gender, educational uh, qualification, educational course. First, uh, we define variables um, in data and variable view. In, in variable view, we will define the name, type, with decimal, label, values, uh, which we, uh, quotes the answer of the question and measurement, level of measurement, which may be nominal, ordinal, or scale. In field questionnaire, how we quote? Um, after filling the question, we, uh, we label every category in, into numbers. For example, you can quote the unique ID number 1, age less, uh, less than 20s, 1, 2, uh, 20 to 30s, 2, 3, 30 to 40 for, for more than 40. Gender may, um, for example, we label male one, female two. So on educational status, it is your choice uh, what code you assign to any uh, categories or any variable. After the questionnaire, the next uh, thing is coding of the questionnaire and then these codes you fill in the data view. For example, numeric ID label um, age, you label as in 20, 1, 2, 3, gender 1, 2, in this way, educational qualification 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, education, um, educational course preferences, B Ed, C S C A and 1, 2, 3, 4, according to your questionnaire. After uh, coding, you enter the data, which I already described you. After entering the data, the next step uh, before data analysis is required is a data cleaning. 
because uh, data cleaning it is a first step in analyzing data you must show that the data is uh, clean and there is no obvious data errors data errors that may be rise may be either due to, uh, due to outliers there may be re really high or low numbers for example age uh, uh, your 1 to 10 it may be outlier value entered that does not exist for variable for example uh, there may be uh, one or zero you label zero but you enter the two either male or female therefore we checking uh, the data is required there may be missing value um, for example any person did not give answer uh, answer accidentally not entered in the database or data cleaning uh, there may be able to set delimited values when entering data it prevents the entering at two when values one or zero missing are acceptable values all these you are required to check before uh, going to the data analysis we, uh, either it is outlier you entered the coding uh, coding numbers correctly there uh, either there is any missing value present or not or data cleaning, you may also be found by running the univariate data analysis, which can check the quality of the data. In the next section, I will tell you how to perform the univariate data analysis. In the previous lecture, I told you that data editor of the SPSS window has the two tabs, data view and variable view. In the variable view, you enter the characteristics of variable under eight headings uh, in which you provide the type, label, uh, levels of measurement, characteristics, coding, and the responses of these questionnaires answers is you enter in the data view. In the SPSS window, there is the uh, pull down uh, front uh, consists of pull down menu, and then there is a toolbar. Then there is the column variable view. In the data view, there is a variable, and there is a case in each row, and the data detail has data view and variable view. Pull down uh, the pull down uh, menu or pull down menus has the following window file menu edit window data window transform window uh, and from this menu you can perform various uh, function for uh, file menu you, you can uh, perform different uh, function in file databases in edit menu you can core cut copy paste insert variables in certain cases in data menu you can perform various uh, functions in the on the variable, for example, you can sort cases, merge files, edit files, select cases. In transform menu, you can transform the various variable into different variable or recode new variable or uh, uh, variable into its existing variable. In analyze menu, it is the main menu in which statistical analysis is mainly performed. From descriptive to regressional to non parametric test, all are performed through this analyze menu. First of all, uh, there is the file management function for example as i told you in the data menu you can perform the various function uh, for example you can transform the variable you can select the variable split the file compute new compute no, new variables record the data merging files sort cases transport and weight cases first of all sorting of data sorting of data um, when you enter the questionnaire, this will help you to rearrange the data in either ascending order, which may be smallest to largest to alphabetically or descending order. For example, largest to smallest or reverse alphabetically with respect to specific variable. Open file data sort cases, uh, select variable and then OK sorting data. There are two options for sorting data. Either uh, sort cases, we can sort cases or sort variables. Uh, this uh, select Dr. Khansa, we can't hear your voice. As uh, as you, uh, this is SPSS sheet. In this SPSS sheet, there is the data view. In the data view, you can perform the um, identify the duplicate cases, unusual cases, compare data sets, sort cases, sort variables. In the sort cases, you can perform, uh, for example, either you can ascending, uh, sort ascending or descending. For example, I want to sort the cases in sending in income variables. You can enter the variable in the sort by, uh, if you want uh, to sort in ascending, then click on the ascending and then perform OK. This command is in the data view and it is the sort cases. If you want to sort variables, then you select any variable 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल नेम वेरिएबल विथ लेबल वेरिएबल एनी वेरिएबल टाइप ऑफ द वेरिएबल यू कैन क्लिक द वेदर यू कैन सोर्ट दिस वेरिएबल आइदर असेंडिंग और डिसेंडिंग इट इज ऑन योर चॉइस और डिसेंडिंग बट इन दिस वेरिएबल व्यू यू कैन ओनली परफॉर्म असेंडिंग और डिसेंडिंग फंक्शन एट ओनली ऑन द वन वेरिएबल आइदर यू कैन परफॉर्म ऑन द विथ डेसीमल और लेबल और मिसिंग वैल्यू देन परफॉर्म ओके एंड द कमांड इज सेट एंड वेन यू सी it is performed income uh, in the ascending or descending in ascending view it is mainly go into the smallest to largest value when i can click on click on the descending view the values go from the highest to lowest next function in the data view is the sort cases the important function is to select the cases if you um, want for example in the gender i want to see the Uh, prevalence of depression uh, in only males or female i label my variable gender uh, i have three variables male female and transgender and i only want to see the prevalence of depression in males and i label the male one therefore i if i want to select only gender i go to select cases if condition is satisfied if and then go to gender then click into the gender is equal to 1 because my label of the male is 1 and i want to see the depression in the only males continue and okay you see that the spss cut the only select the cases which is 1 1 which is indicate the female Three, which indicate the transgender is cut by the SPSS because I only want the gender, which is male one, and all other labeling is cut by the SPSS. In this way, you can also select the cases. You can also weight the cases. For example, in the large surveys, there is large number of the data, and we there may be overestimation, underestimation of values. We need to. Um, and therefore we need to perform the the weight cases uh, in prevalence studies therefore you can also also weight any cases or variables by clicking on the weight cases and move to the variable in frequency variable and okay button in the data view mainly uh, you can uh, the most important function do, do you can identify the sort cases sort variables select the cases and weight cases therefore sorting of the uh, um, case uh, selection of the cases i already described now come towards the uh, uh, next creating variable some time we want to create a new variable is needed on the basis of current and existing variable or set to variable for example in this we go to the menu transform compute variable insert target value and write desired operation in target operation like square like square or log uh, log like in this for example uh, now after the data view there is a transform function in the transform function you can also compute any type of formula for example you want to calculate the bmi you write in the target variable bmi you enter their weight or uh, height in centimeter you can compute the pl plus you can also minus and any other function you want to perform arithmetic mean want to calculate any function you can uh, type or click this and all the answer is show in this in transform function we can also recode uh, the variable into same variable or recode into the different variable for example um, uh, someone conducted the study uh, in the scale for example uh, in my questionnaire the age is open i don't create any categories and then after uh, data entry i want to convert the open age or continuous form of the data into categorical variable 
देयर फोर आई री एंड आई वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट अ न्यू वेरीबल फॉर दिस फंक्शन आई परफॉर्म द री आई री कोड द एज विच इज ओपन इन टू कैटागोरिकल वेरीबल आई क्लिक ऑन टू री कोड इन टू डिफरेंट वेरीबल वी कैन ऑल्सो री कोड इन टू सेम वेरीबल बट द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट फंक्शन इज यू कैन क्रिएट अ न्यू वेरीबल री कोड इन डिफरेंट वेरीबल बिकॉज वैन वी री कोड इन टू डिफरेंट वेरीबल्स अ न्यू your original variable is at its place and new variable is created so that your original answer is saved whereas recoding to same variable your original data entry is changed therefore the most recommended method is that you can recode into different variables so that your new variable generate for example uh, i want to recode the age we i enter into recode into different variable into the age i perform that because my age is as it is enter 23 19 there is no categories then i want into the age in the output variable i uh, label name as recode age label i also recode age now change old and new value in the value uh, for example i want to create the range for example i want to range 20 to 40 value new is 1 then we add 40 to 60 value 2 add in this way i made the two categories 20 to 40 age 1 and 40 to 62 continue okay in this you see the recode age any age which is fall into 20 to 40 is labeled as 1 and any age which is 40 to 60 is labeled as 2 and the variable is created in the variable view which is known as recode age and you can also miss, uh, mention the values here 20 to 41 and 40 to 62 in this way you can perform the recode into different variable you can also perform recode into same variable in this you can enter the age into variable old and new values in this old value for example you want to change the value of 40 age into 50 you can add all the 40 age in the data view or change into the 50 therefore it can originally uh, it can it can change the new value originally in, in your file therefore main recommendation is you can generate the new recode variable in transform variable you can recode into same variable recode into different variables you can check the uh, missing value or replace the missing value for example if you want to replace missing value you can perform uh, income and then okay various function but the most important function in transform in you want uh, must know about recoding of the different variable all steps i i mentioned in um, in my presentation as well these are all steps i describe you replace the missing value these are some functions you must know before performing the data analysis and it may be required in your data analysis now come to our statistical analysis the main focus of statistical analysis is the descriptive stat or inferential stat in the descriptive stat you must um, information in convenient usable way descriptive stat is actually the set of data in which you can present the data in the form of central dependency dispersion or frequency or prevalence in inferential stat you can make the generalization inferences from sample data to population and the main uh, aim of inferential stat is to use the sample score for hypothesis testing in the inferential stat actually we deal with null hypothesis or searcher hypothesis null hypothesis there is no association there as in such a hypothesis we want to see an association
and uh, therefore choice of appropriate statistical test is generally based on the two primary consideration whether the nature of the hypothesis is you want to perform the test of difference or you see the test of relationship between the two variables what is the level of measurement of variable to be tested for example i already mentioned whether it is categorical data quantitative ordinal nominal or scale this is a graph which tells you types of the dependent variable uh, for example if you have continuous variable and then type of independent variable it is categorical number if it is one then you uh, more than one you perform the anova and it is one uh, level of independent variable if one then simple uh, t test is applied and if it is two uh, the pair t test or independent t test and if the type of independent variable is continuous mixed and the number of independent variable is one then simple regression and more than one multiple regression is applied and if the type of dependent variable is categorical logistic regression applied and if there is no real dependent independent variable and there is categorical variable therefore we applied both categorical chi square test and continuous you can run the um, co correlation analysis through this tree you can form any type of analysis depends on the nature of your data measure of central density you can measure mean median mode and each measure is designed to represent a typical score the score of each measure usually depend on the shape of distribution whether it is normal or skewed and the variables level of measurement either data or nominal ordinal or interval actually some regard is uh, in uh, if we want to perform the descriptive stat on one on the one variable it is known as a univariate descriptive analysis in this if we have the um, type of nature of the variable is scale for example quantitative then uh, in displaying data you can perform the histogram or box plot or you can uh, also mention in descriptive standard mean median or standard deviation if it is nominal or categorical you can perform bar chart pie chart frequency table percentages and proportions therefore the the main uh, descriptive stat of the categorical variable you can mention in percentages of proportions whereas in the quantitative you can mention it is mean or standard deviation or median in graphical representation you perform histogram or box plot whereas in the qualitative variable the displaying data is bar chart or pie chart therefore in descriptive stat we are mainly concerned with mean median correlation linear regression modes standard deviation inferential stat we also taken into account the confidence interval testing of hypothesis p value and over related to the inferential stat now uh, come towards the uh, graph for categorical variables or in the descriptive univariate descriptive stat univariate descriptive stat for example if i want to um, my one uh, categorical variables i want to see the portions of gender then i go to the analyze then descriptive stat go to frequencies and frequencies gender as i know gender is male female or transgender it is a qualitative variable gender is then move to variable and okay it display the frequency tables which show that the male female as i i select the cases of male therefore it is only displayed in the male in this way you can analyze the qualitative variables for example if you want to build the chart of the gender any other qualitative variable you go to the graph legacy dialog if you want to simple bar chart then go to the bar chart simple bar chart for example i want to create the bar chart of education i want move it to the category category axis okay SPSS is the education illiterate primary education scanty. In this way, you can generate the simple bar chart for qualitative data, or you can mention the frequency tables. Any other tables? For example, you can go to descriptive stat frequencies. 
for example religion okay in this way uh, various categories of currencies or percentages are produced in the table in output window now come towards the numeric data or quantitative data in univariate analysis if you uh, want to perform the analysis on quantitative data for example income which is quantitative variable i go to the descriptive stat now in this window i only go to descriptives because as i already mentioned in the categorical variables you uh, you mention in the frequencies but in the quantitative data you go to the descriptive stat option income enter the income variable option it may you depend you want to mean standard deviation variance maximum minimum by default it is stick on mean standard deviation in spss you can also find range many other uh, depend on your analysis you can also perform the standard curves as values as well in this way in income uh, it generate the minimum maximum value mean or standard deviation of the income you can also perform to any other quantitative uh, variable for example age there is also mean and standard deviation of age minimum maximum and total number for graphical representation in the qualitative data uh, you can also perform the box plot any other uh, you want to perform these all steps are i already described graph for continuous variables you can also make the histogram by going on to the legacy um, legacy dialog or um, it depends on type of nature of the data there is also option descriptive stat for and 95% confidence interval it can uh, open the file menu analyze descriptive stat explore and select variable the descriptive stat is also come in the form of 95% confidence interval for example go to analyze descriptive stat explore then explore there come any uh, variable you want to uh, analyze you go into the dependent list and then dependent list after then you index go you tick the descriptives and then the output of spss come in the form of descriptives it also give mean standard deviation and with 95% confidence interval this is all about uh, when you have one variable for example uh, quantitative variable or qualitative variable it depends on the your analysis you want to perform in some time we have that we want to perform the bivariate analysis or we want to see the association between the uh, appropriate analysis between the two variable if the type of variable is categorical categorical or qualitative then in graphical display you perform the multiple bar type and you see the relationship by contingency table or cross steps if the one variable is categorical and other is scale you can perform the you can display it in box plot and relationship required according to the descriptive stat for each group if the both is scale scale or both is numeric then we perform we can graphically display it through scatter plot or correlation for example i want to see the association between the two two categorical variables age and uh, gender and education in this i want to uh, go to analyze descriptive stat cross step one variable is go into the gender and other goes to the education is column you can also perform a chi square test also 
इन द सेल्स ऑब्जर्व वैल्यू यू टिक द रो कॉलम एंड टोटल परसेंटेज कॉन्टिन्यू ओके इन दिस वे आई हैव टू वेरिएबल्स विच आर बोथ आर कैटागोरिकल दीज आर द मेल एंड जेंडर देर फॉर एजुकेशन एंड जेंडर इज दिस एंड द एजुकेशन टू बाई टू टेबल इज क्रिएटेड विच इज क्रोज टैब एंड द काइस के टेस्ट वैल्यू इज ए सिमटोमेटिक टू साइडेड विच इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव एंड इट शो एज इट इज लेस दैन जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव देर फॉर इट इज स्टेटिस्टिकली सिग्निफिकेंट इन दिस वे यू कैन परफॉर्म द एनालिसिस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू परफॉर्म द ग्राफ दैन इट गो टू द लेगेसी डायलॉग एंड यू कैन गो टू द बार चार्ट इन दिस वे यू कैन बिकॉज इट इज टू वेरिएबल यू कैन आई दर मेक द क्लस्टर बार चार्ट और स्टैक बार चार्ट इन दिस आई वॉन्ट टू मेक द क्लस्टर बार चार्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई वॉन्ट टू बिटवीन द एजुकेशन एंड जेंडर इन द कैटागरी एक्सिस इट गोज टू द एजुकेशन बाई जेंडर इट इज डिफाइंड क्लस्टर बाई एजिस एंड देन ओके द ग्राफ इज जनरेटेड विच इज अ क्लस्टर बार चार्ट इट यू कैन ऑल्सो मेक द Stack bar chart by going into the graphs, legacy dialog, and which type of graph you want to make, you can tick on the box plotter scatter plot. It is the analysis when you have two categorical variables. If one uh, one is categorical and other is scale, you can perform the If one uh, variable is categorical and other is scale, you can form the uh, graphical display box plot and descriptive statistics for each one. For example, in categorical, you can uh, mention it in the frequency and scale. You can denote the mean and frequency, uh, mean and standard deviation. When both are scale or quantitative, you can make the scatter plot or correlation. Uh, Doctor Khansa, please go to MCQ's part. Now your time is almost up. Okay, um, in the uh, in the correlation analysis, you can go to the correlate bivariate analysis, and uh, for example, I want to see the quantitative variable age and income. It go to both types. Then correlation. is performed there for the correlation pearson correlation value 0.06 and significance is 4.90 and in the scatter plot you can legacy dialog which is for the correlation analysis for example simple scatter define please also show your output chart i have not seen a single graph in your output file please open your output file too डॉक्टर खंसा आपने अभी तक जितने भी ग्राफ्स बनाए हैं हमें प्लीज अपनी आउटपुट चार्ट में वो सारे आउटपुट फाइल में दिखाएं डॉक्टर खंसा आपने yes, अभी तक जितने ग्राफ्स बनाए हैं ना सारे आप हमें आउटपुट में दिखाएं ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई परफॉर्म द यूनिवर्सियल एनालिसिस ऑन द कैटेगोरिकल वेरिएबल्स I mentioned the simple bar chart for education, which is आप अपने output chart खोलें आपका हमें वो screen नजर नहीं आ रही ये जो आपको फिलहाल हमें आपके एस पी एस एस का सिर्फ डेटा नजर आ रहा है प्लीज गो टू योर आउटपुट फाइल एंड शो अस ऑल दो चार्ट दैट यू हैव बिल्ड सो फार इज इट विजिबल राइट जी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई परफॉर्म द ग्राफ राइट आप जल्दी हाँ जी ठीक है सिंपल बार्स हैं आगे simple bar chart frequency tables religion it is categorical descriptive stat for univariate the quantitative variables row step for the two is there are two categorical variables and the perform the chi square test and uh, uh, multiple bar charts is shown if there is two categorical variables correlation if there are two scale variables in the pearson correlation and significance and the graph is is show scatter plot all those in this way i am where is the histogram histogram
This is histogram of the income. Okay, right. Now please go to MCQs and uh, please finish your uh, uh, presentation here because the time is up. Please go to your MCQs.